in Ezekiel is what the Lord before the valley of dry bones for the cemetery if you would. The Lord asked Ezekiel can these bones live? Ezekiel no doubt looked out and saw a hopeless situation like many of us see today. He looked out and saw a situation. He saw a place where there was absolutely no hope. That's what he thought. But instead of speaking what he thought, he said, Lord, you know. I don't have a clue, but you know. I believe somebody today has stepped into that realm of, of saying, Lord, you know. Amen. And some dry bones have come to life. If Ezekiel would have spoke the negative thoughts, what could have happened? Can this church live again? Yes. yes. Lord, you know. Yes. And you see, when we give it all to him, that's, right. that's when bones can come together. That's when a community can come together. That's when a church can come together. What we're witnessing right now in this church pales in comparison of what's about to take place in this community. There's about to be some changes. There's about to be some recognition Come on. that this little small church on Highway 16 is about to become a focal point for people that are lost, for people that are hurt, for people that are disturbed, for people that are depressed. If we would stop thinking of a negative attitude, if we would keep that and say, Why don't you 
you just give the Lord a good hand clap of praise? We can't do it without each other. We gotta have one another. 